Hey everybody, this is Sean from Tenacious Fitness. Uh, today I want to go over a few hip strengthening uh, techniques to help with strengthening the knee joint. Now I have a few clients who come in and they either suffer from knee pain from some sort of uh, knee injury or uh, previous surgery that they've had uh, involving the knee joint or just weakness around that area in general. Um, a good way to strengthen the uh, hip joint and make sure that the knee is a little stronger is by doing mini band exercises. So today I'm going to go over a few uh, hip strengthening techniques using this simple little mini band. So the first technique that we're going to go over is what we call a clamshell. Now I'm going to use this little mini band right here. This one just happens to be from a brand I like to purchase. It's uh, Perform Better. Uh, there's a lot of other bands that I use. This one seems to be the most durable and uh, thick and kind of like sometimes the elastic bands wear out quickly and they snap. These ones, in my experience, have lasted the longest. Uh, so anyway, here's how we do a clamshell exercise. We're going to be targeting uh, the abduction of the hip, like so, from a hip flexed position. And I'm going to be working my gluteus medius muscle right here on the outside. And that's going to help the knee uh, stay in place a little better by keeping this hip joint strong. So I'm going to go ahead and put this little band on. Put it around the tops of my, my kneecaps like so. I'm going to turn to the side. Make sure my knees are bent. And I'm going to kind of sit like I'm reading a magazine on the beach. I'm going to make sure that my... Uh, Heel bones are in line with my hip bones. My knees are flexed. Uh, sorry, my hips are in a nice flexed position. And then I'm going to go ahead and clamshell, like so. I want to make sure that my heels, uh, sorry, that the, the tops of my feet are together and that my hips are square with my rib cage and my rib cage is square with my ear. So this is what to do, okay, correctly. And this is kind of incorrectly. See, I'm kind of opened up. Doing that, that's not going to be as effective as if I'm right here, okay? And once again, by strengthening up the hip area, I'm going to kind of protect the structural integrity of my knee here uh, because if I keep this strong, this area strong, then my femur bone is not as likely to shift back and forth. So the next technique that we're going to go over is what we call a lateral band walk. Uh, I have my band. I'm going to go ahead and stretch it out a little bit. Put it around the top of my ankle bone. I'm going to stretch it out. Put my other foot through and put that around the top of my ankle bone. Now I'm going to keep tension on the band. Make sure that if I had shoelaces on, they'd be pointing forward and my shins would be lined up over my shoelaces. Hips are going to be back a little bit, a little soft knee band. Keep the chest up, good posture, of course. And then I'm going to hit, go ahead and step and then trail the other foot to where it comes even right underneath my hip joint. Step, come even, step, come even, step, come even, step, come even. Right there, I went about five yards or so. Um, you can go about five or 10 yards depending on the, uh, the uh, difficulty of the exercise. Start out small, go longer as you get better, okay? So I've achieved this direction, now I need to go the opposite direction to even out because I just don't want to go one direction, right? I want to even out both sides of my hip. Gonna step out, keep tension on the band, trail to even underneath my hip. Step, trail, step, trail, step, trail, step, trail. Now, things we wanna avoid. We wanna avoid our toes coming out like this, right? Okay, another thing we wanna avoid is kind of cheating like this. Stay up, stay level. Go out that, okay? That's how you're gonna achieve the maximum benefit out of this exercise. Uh, once again, how is this going to help your knee joint? Well, I have my vastus lateralis muscle right here. I have my gluteus medius. Gluteus medius is going to help with internal and external rotation of my hip and keeping um, this leg stable so that I don't get that kind of rotational um, action going over my, um, my femur and my tibial plateau. And then also, um, I use my vastus lateralis and IT band muscles here, and that is connected directly to the knee joint. So you can kind of see how they kind of reinforce the knee joint by strengthening those two muscles. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by, everybody, and uh, look forward to talking to you soon.
Salah satu pelajar yang pernah masuk di sini.